Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here in a shave video. Well, well, today's the last shave of 2018. Can you believe how fast this year has went by? See what all good has happened. I'll think of it as I go along. I've done prep my face and everything. I've just got out of the shower, so all beards all nice and hydrated. I prep my face with a vanilla pre-shave oil. Going with the usual suspect, the Omega Synthetic Boar. Going to be using the Twig Sculptor on my mustache area again. Sixth shave and counting. I'm going with the Leaf again. Second shave and counting on these. Buck pack may be in order. And since I'm having a little bit of a sinus issue, like I do every year this year, the star of the party, Sterling Soaps, Lemon Chill, which is a tallow and lanolin-based soap, and it's uh, somewhere in between a crope and a hard puck. It's not real hard, but at the same time, it's not real soft either. And the scent on this is like a lemon meringue pie or a lemon calls lemon cough drop or something like that. But I get a really stout lemon meringue pie type of scent to my nose. And I'm going to finish it off with Glacial Lemon Chill by Sterling. Uh, matching aftershave balm. So let's load up the pot. Oh, and if you're wondering, time for a refill. All right, lots of good things happened this year. I fell in love with uh, Monica Gillum's Vanillae soaps. Let's see, I went back to school to get my GED, and I'd like one more finishing and getting it, and that'd be math. The only couple of bad things was I lost a friend for 10 years. I've known her for 10 years, and both personally and professionally, and unfortunately, don't know what went off, but that one kind of hurt a bit. And the ultimate hurt was when we lost my grandmother in May of this year, May 2019. It was a sad day for us that day. So, there's been a few things here and there that reminded us. We're still getting over it, but we'll be okay. She was 94. So... Other than that, pretty much all good happened. Had a really good year. I think I got enough. <laughs> so what's in store for 2019? Hopefully I'll have my new knee finished up and I'll see from there. Let's see. Hopefully I can get a get started and continue my education, go back to school and get become an accountant. Look at that leather. Oh man. And you can't go wrong with this lemon chill, especially if you got sinus issues. The menthol is extreme, but let me tell you, it clears you up big time. Alright, good stuff. Let's see, what else have I got coming up? I'm still thinking about getting a Rockwell 6C. I've decided on the C instead of the S. Even though I can get the S, pay money, and have it polished, but now I just assumed to have it. I'm just assumed to have the work room and be done with it. I'm People have told me that uh, it's a very forgiving razor, even with a, the most aggressive base plate. So I'm still looking at that. I'm also thinking about getting another leaf and uh, adding that to the equation. So, lots of good things. And I plan on adding a few subs to my shave cave and trying out, such as that with Jagger, Lather Brothers, Stash Stoke Works, a couple more, uh, one more wet to face or two. Mm. All kinds of good stuff going on this year, as they say. 
There's also another brand called Knight's Bridge. I haven't tried them yet. And uh, Magra just got a few from Maria Arvin that I want to get back in my arsenal. Specifically their brand of soap, such as the Orange Chill. And I'm going to get another refill puck of this lemon chill. Because I love it. So, another thing that I started doing this past year, uh, younger anyone, was making videos full time. We also lost three major things, or four major things, in the wet shaving world this past year. We lost Straight Razor Designs. They closed up shop when Lynn decided to retire, which is a never a good thing seeing a supplier go. I've never had any personal issues with them or anything, just the fanboys. Let's see. Queen Charlotte soaps went bye-bye. So did uh, Reef Point soaps. And come April, G Plus, April of 2019, Google Plus or G Plus is going bye-bye. So I won't be posting any more to there because I pretty much moved everything over to MeWe, which is much better and uh, whatnot. So I'll put the link to my profile below on MeWe. Got about four days worth of beard growth, so. All right. Let's heat up the twig. Sculptor. Number six. And you saw it. And that'll do, ladies and gentlemen. Six shaves, and it still ain't slowed down yet. We'll see what happens on the second pass. Heat up the leaf with the feather blades in it. Second shave on these, though. smooth and it got me a little bit right there oops that was my fault though I jerked when I should have just slid So, stick it down. Well, that's the end of this one. Good thing I got one more in there. All right. So, the thing I started doing was making videos full time.
been doing it for about seven or eight months now. Got over a hundred videos up now. Very cool. These right here just keep opening up. I you know, a couple spots here and there, but other than that, it's still comfortable. You don't even feel it. Very nice first pass on the tree. Let's see what else happened this year. Oh, another thing that I have to be giving up on a permanent basis because I don't know for sure yet would be my blog due to G plus going bye bye I don't know if my blog is directly related to it or what but uh, all I know is that uh, a lot of people didn't read it for whatever reason which is fine I enjoyed writing it but it takes me less time to do a video than it does and to share it than it does to uh, write a blog post and post it up. Club Man Nick Relief. I don't want for this to do too good, so I may have to get this stupid pencil. A little bit more stupid gel on that. Very nice for a pass. All right, either up for pass two. Love the chill of the menthol. So Google Plus, with it going by my blog, might be going with it. I don't know yet. I haven't been told anything or anything like that just yet. this year. All right. Ooh. Meta. Uh, money pass with the twig sculptor on the mustache. Pass with a leaf.
And it should do it. Let's rinse and see what you got. First the high. Just a half bath. Make sure it didn't get clean enough. So, the other thing I did this year is I met my go to razor, which was the leaf. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to come that good. Cold water rinse. Oh my, it's like rubbing an ice cube on your face. I'm not eating sterling soap, lemon, chill, methylated soap, and ice cold water here in the mountains of Southwest Virginia. It's winter time, are you kidding? Oh man, did that feel good. Alum time. Cold water with alum. I always use cold water with alum. It'll last longer and still be twice as effective. Alright. No sting in there. No sting in there. Tiny bit right there, but not much. A little tiny bit right there. Other than that, no, pretty much no stinging. Rinse that puppy off, and I will dry it off here and we'll get to our recap. All right, let's recap. Give the owl time to do its thing. Okay, I started off with prepping my beard off camera with vanilla pre-shave oil. I went with my Omega synthetic bore. Went with the twig sculptor for my mustache area and sideburns. Sixth, uh, fifth shave on this and counting. Now I'm up to number six, I think. I may have to go back and count. I'm pretty sure that might have been just, no, I take that back. That is number six. Six shave and counting. Second shave on the leaf with feather blades in here as well. And the star of the party, which is cleared my sinuses up very well, cooled my face off. Sterling soaps, a little in lemon chill, which is lanolin and tallow based. Let's rinse. Good thing I keep that DE log book. That way I know how many uh, shaves I got on what. But I'm pretty sure that that was the six shaves on this blade. Oh, man. Wow.
To finish it off, I'm going with sterling soaps, glacial lemon chill, good stuff. After shave ball, that's all I use. I don't use much. Comfortable close shave, clear sinuses coming up, moisturizing balm. You kidding? What a great shave! Well, that was it for 2018. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Happy New Year, and may 2019 be a prosperous one. Thank you. God bless. See you Wednesday on the second.